here, there's a dead spot. Where it, pop, where it just pops back through the intake. Just right off idle. The vacuum leak I fixed was right here. Uh, it seemed to make no difference. Um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. All right, so I uh, got the car running, test drove it a couple times. Um, run, runs real good other than off idle. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last video, um, I'd come off idle, you know, part throttle, it would backfire through the intake. Um, and it was super lean on the handheld AFR was in the 20s. Um, just during that time, um, AFR was called, you know, idle, it was calling for 13 and a half to one, but it was 20, 21 um, at idle. Um, and I could not get the IAC to cooperate while setting the idle. Um, so looking at the instructions, for the IAC, it, it doesn't say much. It just tells you what it is. Tells you pin B3 is pulsed with modulated, modulated negative, um, and it uses one of the four outputs. So the Fox Kit basically, one of the outputs is wired up to the proper connector, and so you can plug it into the Ford idle air control. But that's all it says. Um, even in the other instructions, it didn't really cover it. Um, so what I have learned is you have to go to this tab, IX settings, and this is how mine was uh, after I started it. I was set up for a GM LSX, which this is not. Uh, so you have to pick Ford 5 liter from the drop, on, drop down, change it to pulse width modulated, and change the frequency from 1. Uh, if you leave this at 1, your IX makes weird, bad noises. Um, Poked around a little bit online and found 300 to 320 is what people are recommending. Um, I have my set mine at 320, and uh, it stopped the bad noises. I have not tweaked it other than that. Um, but this is what you have to do to get the IAC right. After you get this done, you have to go to pen map, view outputs. Um, this should be up here. I had already done it. Um, Basically, it'll say unassigned, and you pull this down here to pin B3, and it's set up. Um, again, this, is, this isn't this is my config. This is just a base calibration for a 5-liter Ford. Um, I don't have my config with me. Um, but you have to do this to make it the IAC work right. Um, so even after doing that, I was still having trouble. Um, so I decided to smoke, smoke test the intake. Had a little vacuum leak at the... EGR block off plate, uh, reseal that, didn't really change. Um, still popping back, you could open the throttle just a little bit, and it was just super lean. Um, to the point where I also tried a new IAC because I, I couldn't get this thing to cooperate even after setting this up. It still wanted to stick at 40, and I, you know, no matter what I did, it really wouldn't get below 10 at operating temp. That's how you're supposed to set the idle. I just wouldn't do it. So I tried a new IAC. was the same. Um, so in kind of a little bit of a moment of frustration, I just threw a bunch of fuel at it at the problem section. You know, I could see where it was happening. And adjusted the AFR from, I think it was calling for 13.5 at idle, um, to 11. And then took it for a quick spin, and it was way better. Um... It would pop back just a little bit, but nowhere near. I mean, it was actually drivable um, during the transition from idle to kind of putting load on the engine. Uh, even before when it was driving and you were above, I don't know, 2,000, 2,500 RPM, it was fine. Um, ran really good. Uh, but I had been fighting this, popping back, trying to transition from idle to off idle for a couple days. I mean, I, you know, I don't have much time every day to mess with it, but... Um, there had been a couple days of messing with it. So, kind of ran out of time at that point. And wanted to come and look at the instructions and see what I maybe missed. 
um, and why I was doing this because you know there's no vacuum leak, super lean at idle. What's this thing doing? Uh, turns out if you have a cam above 260 degrees duration, closed loop operation is disabled, but below 2500 RPM. So I wasn't really learning. Um, so I had to man when I manually threw fuel at it, it uh, it cleared it up. So I'm gonna set this up to where you can modify this to where it will enable closed loop operation below 2500 RPM and let it do its thing. So I'm extremely happy. It's uh, learning. Um, had to change a bunch of settings. I'll get into that in a second. But um, just took it for a drive. It is amazing the difference that it has made with the with the with it running correctly and set up correctly um, over the stock computer. It's just night and day. Um, and it just started learning. I basically put about five miles on it. Um, super happy. Uh, I did want to add real quick. I should have listened to my coworker earlier because of the popping back to the intake uh, being real lean. He was saying, throw more fuel at it. Throw more fuel at it. We'll just check it real quick. And I tunnel visioned hardcore on the IAC. Um, so it would have saved me a little heartache if I had listened to him sooner. Uh, but I did find the setting. It's in this tab here, system ICF. Uh, the setting for enabling closed loop below 2500. That was basically my whole problem. Uh, again, this isn't my config. I don't have that on this computer. Um, but under this tab, closed loop learn, uh, this was checked, 2500 RPM, uncheck that. Uh, and it started learning at idle, um, off idle. It took, I don't know, a couple minutes, a mile, two miles. I stopped a few times in there. Um, so it would learn in that dead spot, you know, right off idle. And at first it was like 18, 20, 21 air fuel mixture ratio. Uh, after a couple of minutes, it was it cleared it right up. It started adding fuel. It saw it, needed it, uh, and added it. So the drivability with this is amazing. Um, super happy between the IX settings I talked about earlier and enabling closed loop at idle. <laughs> um, really, really did the trick. Um, I'm super happy with the drivability. Um, I do wish, you know, as I was doing this initial wizard, setup wizard, I just picked the cam duration. I do believe this is too important to be in the instructions. Um, I pride myself on being an instructions guy, and I, I didn't have them with me when I did it. Because, you know, you think you pick this, you pick this, you, you know, go down the list. Um, but, unfortunately, I missed that. And, it, like I said, I wish there maybe a pop-up saying, you know, if you pick this... Your closed loop's going to be disabled. Um, that is huge. Um, but that being said, the drivability now is so much better than stock. It doesn't do funky things at idle. Pull time it out when you're shifting. Um, not even not even talking about the dual sync distributor or the being able to tune it. Uh, just the drivability for an SN95 uh, is worth dealing with the harness, you know, and all the other nonsense you have to do to make this Fox kit work. It is worth it. Um, the drivability, like I said, is just phenomenal. Um, super excited to start tuning it. Super excited to start driving it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show these two things. So this is kind of a long, boring one to look at, I guess, but it's pretty important. Um, and I may add more as I learn you know well, I will add more as I learn more um, like I said I'm kind of learning this as I go